how much change have you had in your fertilizer? Tremendous. More I'm, usage or less? I'm using less nitrogen and more uh, micros. You know, so tell how you put your how you put it on. <laughs> you put some on with a planter and then you pull your fan. I uh, tell us how you did that. In furrow uh, pop up with a planter, one pint per acre, and um, then at uh, corn at V six, we did foliar one pint per acre with uh, fungicide and herbicide. Beans. We did, uh, the beans were knee high. Uh, again, we did foliar. Uh, well, we did the in furrow pop up plus the foliar uh, along with fungicide and uh, herbicide. And uh, those beans this spring, they just sat there like that. Yeah. Sat and sat and sat. We thought, what did I do, you know? Okay, so they got up like that, and I fully fed them. My beans are like this now. Really? I kid you not. And how what? many pods did you say were on them? 87. Pods. That's awesome. 87 plus blooms on top. You can keep those, keep the blooms set. You're going to set pods. What did it cost you? A dollar sixteen per acre. For this Centos? Per pint, per a pint. pint per acre at a dollar sixteen per pint. Because you're always do, you're already doing the application. You're already doing the application, so it's not really you're not adding any. It's just a tank mix. Wow, you know. So, wow. <laughs> and when did you plant your beans? You were late, beans probably were, uh, June tenth, and corn wow. was um, uh, May seventeenth, I think. And if you could have got them in early, like say May time frame wonder what they would have been you know I mean it I don't know if the yield would have been different but yeah. I know that uh, it could make one heck of a difference in our you know, I, yeah in, in yeah our, uh, yeah you know harvest. but you use the rebounder to put your centos on in the furrow yes yeah okay yeah, yeah. pint per acre right okay all right I had my bed tomorrow. Today we have Morris Hartman coming down from Pete's, Colorado, uh, going to talk about foliar feeding various crops uh, throughout the season. And I'll introduce Morris. Thank you. Good to meet you, Paul. A lot of people ask me the question, what is foliar feeding? Because they really don't understand what foliar feeding is. And I've got a little, few little overheads here. Foliar feeding is a it's a way of fertilizing the crop, not through the root system, but by putting nutrients on the leaf of the plant at a certain stage at a lower rate to get a response in yield. Whether that's alfalfa, whether it's corn, soybeans, tobacco, uh, we can go right down the list. But we've worked with a lot of these products over the years, so there's a lot of things here that are proven. They're proven methods to increase yield. Let me give you a, a couple ideas here. You can have a small sprayer that is like a, a pulled behind a tractor, for an example. doesn't have to have 80-foot booms. If you want to, you can. But there's a couple things that make it work and make it work very well. And I'll just give you a couple general ideas here. If we have a boom here, and let's just say we're foliar feeding corn. I'm going to use that as an example. And we're on 30 inch rows. So if you're going to foliar feed, one of the things that you need to look at is the fact that you don't want to spray that over everything. You want to use a nozzle that's going to put that spray directly over that plant. No use of feeding the ground. We're feeding plants here. So you can see you're using less nozzles. They're spaced at probably a 30 inch interval along that boom, but we're spraying it directly over the crop. Now, if we're doing alfalfa, of course, that's going to be a broadcast more or less. If you've got uh, soybeans that are drilled beans, then we'll use a broadcast system. If you're running rows, you want to put it directly over the row. Save as much uh, expense as you can and make this more effective. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a system that does high pressure. Now by high pressure I mean probably in the neighborhood of 30-40 pounds. Okay? 
We want to do that because we want to get the, the molecule size of this product that we're spraying on there, we want it to be very small particle size. Is what We don't want to just flood it. We want just small, small sizes on that. And then we want to go with low volume. Now you say, what's low volume? Below 10 gallons to the acre. 10 gallons is max that we want to use. I don't care whether you're broadcasting, whether you're doing it like this directly over the crop. It doesn't really matter to me, but we need to be low volume. There's a lot of guys who foliar feed that they're using as low as 5 gallons and it works very, very well at that rate. So, you know, keeping the pressure high, keeping the volume low, that allows us to do some things with the, with the foliar feeding that we couldn't do otherwise. So, thanks a lot, and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Morris.